I'm Tori Ryden and I'm standing in the foyer of beautiful Bridgeton Hospital. It is truly a community hospital offering top level care featuring top level general surgeons for all of the folks who live and who visit in arguably one of the most beautiful regions of Maine. It's on the backyard, uh, and especially nowadays that the yeah. snow is on the ground, yeah. we have seen. My name is Narasimha Swami. Most people call me Mac. I'm a general surgeon and a vascular surgeon, and I also have additional training in minimally invasive surgery, also called laparoscopic surgery. Well, my name is Stephen Olson. Um, I've been here in uh, Bridgeton for about two years. I've uh, practiced general surgery for, for my entire career. I had quite a bit of experience early on in uh, uh, trauma and critical care, uh, a lot of oncology and vascular surgery. Doctors Swami and Olson bring a combined 60 years of surgery experience to Bridgeton Hospital. Each has impressive experience in big city hospitals and medical centers. Both have chosen to work at Bridgeton and live in the community. We, we tell a lot of our primary care physicians whom we meet from time to time and say, you know, we don't have to send patients out to Portland or uh, Lewiston or Auburn or anywhere else. And for most of the uh, general surgery and laparoscopic surgery uh, uh, procedures, we are able to take care of them here, not just the operative part, but also the post-operative care and the pre-operative care and so on. So we have everything here to take care of the vast majority of these type of patients. Most people's problems start smaller and in an institution like Bridgeton Hospital is, is so well equipped to be able to handle the majority of, of, of straightforward and moderately complex things. There's no reason that we shouldn't be doing that. Yes, I'm Jim Stacy from Denmark, Maine. I came to Bridgeton Hospital uh, in emergency last February with uh, pains in my side and lower abdomen, and they discovered I had diverticulitis. Well, it was it was bad. I mean, it lasted for two or three days, and I probably had this before, off and on. And I just felt it was, you know, I'd had stomach ulcers earlier, and I thought, well, it's just something to do with my ulcers. But then I developed a high fever and chills and things like that, and so I came in. Happened on a Friday night. I actually came in on Monday morning. They removed uh, ten inches of my intestines to take the diverticuli out, and yeah. Uh, laparoscopy and minimally invasive surgeries have become a widespread uh, thing across the country and uh, we do all of those here whether it is a colon resection for cancer which we have done many of them here or for diverticulitis as in Jim's case and we do uh, uh, repair of uh, some of the incisional hernias obviously gallbladders and appendix operations are all done through the laparoscope these days and it is it is not very often that we have to make a big incision and open up somebody and do the type of things that we used to do 15 years ago and most of these patients stay in the hospital for three four days unlike the uh, seven to ten days hospitalization in the past and many of the uh, hernia patients they go home the same day and they don't even have to stay in the hospital I'm a commercial printer. I own a small printing company uh, over in Denmark. For a month or six weeks, I didn't do any, couldn't do any lifting or anything, and now I can, I can do anything. I mean, lifting, doing my everyday jobs with no problems at all. So I was very pleased. I mean, he was able to heal me up and guide me through having a diet and keeping things under control so that I could do this operation in one session and not have to go back with the bag and have it redone again. So I was very happy with that. Had you ever had a reason to go to any other hospital before? Yeah. I'm Reggie Allen, live in Harrison, and I came in for surgery on a uh, tumor in my uh, lymph node area. But uh, Olson did the surgery, took the tumor out, and a month or so after the tumor came out, he uh, went in again and took out 19 lymph nodes. It's great to hear that he was, he was satisfied, and, and his care actually represents a very interesting uh, example of the, uh, the multi-tiered or the regionality uh, of the system that's important. He had a, he had a, a remarkably unique problem uh, that dated back originally many years. Uh, eventually he needed care surgically here, but we got consultants to see him for radiation oncology and medical oncology uh, in Lewiston and we, his case was talked over actually with a medical oncologist at the, I think at the Brigham or Dana-Farber as well. So 
just because we're in a little town in western western Maine, you know, doesn't mean that that you cannot get superb care. I mean, his care was influenced by the, some of the best people in oncology in the world, and but he didn't have to go away for every bit of it. To me, in ways that I could understand, I'm not too brilliant on uh, medical stuff, so. But, uh, <clears throat> and if it was something I couldn't understand, he, uh, he would actually draw out a picture to make me understand. And uh, so I knew step by step everything that he was doing. Yeah, it's wonderful when patients are happy with the service you provide. Dr. Olson, I, the guy saved my life. I don't know what else I can say. I believe that our practice will grow literally patient by patient. For more information on general surgery or to make an appointment, you can call them up at 647-4234. I'm Tori Ryden.